Happy New Year everyone, this is Quoth and I wish you all to complete your Holy Grail quest for those who sat on this path and continue having fun with your favorite game. By the way, I hope none of you felt like this in the first days of the year. Yes, today we are going to pay a visit to Pindo and farm him for a thousand times. I finally managed to push through my Dark Park Necromancer to Hell and decided to level up while farming this area. I started at level 73 and reached 86 by the end of the farm. And here I am sharing all my finds with you. Enjoy it! First drop happened on run 18. It is a simple one. Skiller Grand Charm, the troll plus one to Masteries and Ethereal Thresher which I used to upgrade inside for my merc. My first unique ring dropped about 30 runs later. If this is another dwarf star, I will be really upset. And luckily it is my first Raven Frost, also with a quite a good roll. Next comes favorite item for magic finding, Chance Guards, and this one's rolled 39% MF and 2 MPK, really nice. Just about 4 runs later I get my first really awesome item, this is Reaper Stall. My last one rolled garbage and corrupted even worse, let's see this one. Perfect lifesteal and 4% off perfect enhanced damage. Amazing! My second unique ring comes exactly 40 runs later. And it rolled another Ravenfrost. Lesser roll, but still good for corrupting. Run 233, and I find nice pair of set boots. Yes, these are Aldur's Advance with 46% fire resist. My only mid rune drops on the run 244, and it is Lem Rune. Another piece of Aldur's set comes later on. This time it is a Druid Pelt and sadly it rolled again with only plus one to summoning skills. Another class specific helm drops just on the run 350. This time it is a barbarian one, Demon Horn's Edge, the trolled 3, 2, 1. By the way, has anyone tried reflect damage build? Later on I find unique shark skin gloves and they also roll the ethereal. Perhaps it could be an option for a merc in undead heavy area. Next item I find is a unique chest piece. As the loot filter says, Gladiator's Bane. I consider this something for your merc until you find a shaft stop or templar's might. Or can make treachery or fortitude, otherwise not very useful. My next find is a unique from TC87 and quite rare, it is a light shield, troll nest, that is headhunter's glory, that now also has a chance to cast amp damage, faster run walk and extra AR. On the run 446 I find unique winged harpoon, that is gargoyle's bite, the troll plus 4 to poison skills and minus 12% to poison resist. Halfway through and another TC87 unique drops. This is Giant Thresher, that is Storm Spire, with a mediocre roll. Some runs later, my third unique ring drops. Perhaps this is my third Ravenfrost, but no, it's actually Ulkathus Wedding Band with 4% life leech. I'm really excited to try corrupting it soon. 
Run 543, the 2 a bit longer than I expected. I find unique grand charm, that is Keith's fortune. I currently have 36% one and perhaps this is an upgrade. This is eligible for a refund. Yeah, yeah, I'm a necromancer and you are a robber. Here, take this back. Rare ring drops next. I was actually seeing a lot of them during my runs. This one has 6 life leech, 13 strength and triple res. Quite a nice one. And here comes item that I have found already. Medusa's Gaze, although this one rolled a little better with 2 to code skills and 31% FCR. Ok, run 708. Pindle drops me unique bow, Cold Strike Arc, that rolled very high across the stats and now has level 20 Feast of Heavens. My next find is a little less useful, perhaps only for a very specific occasion, Inferno Stride, with 10 to max and 32 normal fire resistances. On the run 812 I find my second pair of chances. Let's see if these ones rolled better. And they did! Just 2 points of perfect! Another pair of gloves drops 12 runs later. These are Frost Burn, with minus 5 to fire and minus 4 to cold resistances. Surprisingly, I find my first unique monarch so late in the game. It is a Storm Shield, with 25 strength, 50 cold res and 27% damage reduction. Next drop is a unique boots that are Maro Walks, another pair for corruption. Run 924, another pair of boots. These ones are successfully bricked in my last video. Goblin Toe with 21% crushing blow. And on the next run, my last find that had the same destiny as Goblin Toe, the Spirit Shroud, with 1 to all skills, 20 FCR, and cannot be frozen. Alright guys, these were my 1000 Pindo runs, it is the most common discipline in Diablo Olympic games, and I bet many of you have done this in the past. Now I have my Necromancer leveled up and ready for more areas to farm. So stay tuned for upcoming farming projects and consider subscribing if you haven't. Thank you for watching and see you next time.